everybody, Jace Allen here from Rum Runner Guitars, and today I am demoing a Yamaha FG160. This is a sort of an antique, maybe, probably from the mid 70s, probably. I'm not sure exactly the origin. This is a black label with gold lettering. Uh, there's red labels, there's yellow labels. This is a, I believe it's a jumbo dreadnought. Uh, it's pretty big. It's got a thunderous tone to it. And listen to that. Anyway, I acquired this online. I've uh, only had it for a few weeks. Had to replace the uh, saddle on it. Um, it was plastic and br very brittle. Uh, fell apart. Uh, replaced the uh, uh, nut here also. Uh, not real sure on the specs. I believe the top is solid spruce. Uh, the sides are laminated. Uh, look to be mahogany. The neck itself looks to be mahogany. It's got some real chunky tuners on it. I've never, never seen anything like this before. They're just really big. And they got the Yamaha logo on them. And you can tell the difference between this year and some of the other years because of the tuners. Some of them have the open butter bean tuners, the sort of the old style. Um, Yamaha logo on the front, truss rod adjustment here. I did have to adjust the truss rod on it a tad. Uh, action is still pretty high on it. I'd say it's at, uh, yeah, it's about 0.1 inches or 2.2 millimeters for you folks that don't do standard or, or uh, imperial. <laughs> How are you saying? Yeah, it's a nice, nice guitar. Rosewood uh, bridge. I think the uh, fretboard is rosewood. The uh, frets are really unusual. They're really thin, thin width-wise and height-wise. They probably wore down quite a bit over its lifespan. But I'm surprised how how narrow, thin width-wise they are. And the neck is like a tree trunk. This thing is. The it's the thickest neck I've ever felt. It's more of a D-shape neck. But yeah, it's really thick. Nice binding. Is that uh, five layer binding? White, black, white, black, white, black. Which is a nice touch on a laminated guitar. It doesn't have the little heel thing on it. That's, uh, and this one does not have electronics in it, so it's got the, the little strap button there. Serial numbers inside, so we know it's... I know what year it is. But they sound great. These old guitars. So if you can pick one up, about my time. Try not to go over five minutes on these little uh, reviews. All right, again, I'm Jace Allen, and this is Rum Runner Guitars, and thank you.